Hey, welcome to another guided meditation. And today we'll be continuing our exploration of these deeper altered states of consciousness called jhanas. Now, there was an interesting neuroscience study published in 2019 in Frontiers in Human Neuroscience, and this was on a different type of jhana than what we're practicing here. But what was interesting is the study was initially not accepted by other academic journals because they were actually so surprised by a specific finding there, which was just how slow the brain waves were in this state of jhana. And in fact, the these infra slow waves were about eight to fifty times slower than what you would find from just a heartbeat. So it looked like somebody was kind of put under anesthesia, but it was even slower than that. And they thought this could be a sign of just the the deep peace and physiological relaxation of these states of mind. So even though that was a more extreme jhana than what we're practicing here, I think it goes to show that deep altered states do exist. And hopefully you can glimpse some of that as you practice more and sit longer. So please find a comfortable position, ideally with an upright spine. And then take a moment to relax from the top of your head. Relaxing any tension in your forehead, inside of your head, around your eyes, your jaw. Softening your neck and shoulders. And then scanning down the rest of your body, releasing and relaxing any tension. I'll invite you to just sit there smiling, a slight smile in the corner of your lips, uh, which will help gladden your mind. And just doing nothing for a minute here. And then you can begin to kindle this positive emotion, the tangible feeling of warmth using a, a happy memory, a phrase like, may I be happy, picturing a cute animal or baby or a close friend, whichever of those tools brings up this feeling for you. And then what matters here is the feeling itself, which is your object of meditation. Or we might say it's your home base where you're resting your awareness. And then you can let that feeling fill up your entire experience, spreading out, growing, pervading your body. So now remember the intention to bring up this feeling with the memory or visual image. This is your applied thought. Your sustained thought is staying with that feeling. And then as you do so, you may notice some joy, some contentment, and a unified mind as it collects around the feeling. These would be signs that you might be close to or having entered in the first jhana. And there also would be none of the five hindrances, the five major prediction errors, this wanting things, desire, dislike or aversion, is the second. Worries, agitation, sluggishness or dullness of mind, and then doubts, like, am I doing this right? Those are the five main sources of distraction. So 
if your mind gets distracted, it's probably doing one of those things. It doesn't matter which one, but you can just use the four R's to disentangle from them. Recognize, release, like opening a fist. Then relish that pure mind, positive feeling. And remain there. Remain with the positive feeling. You can use the mental image if you need to. Otherwise, just stay with the feeling. And once you have that feeling and it's flowing, you can drop that part. It's like you've already put the key in the ignition. So that was the applied and sustained thought. Just stay with that feeling, watching it. Notice if the meta-awareness begins to collect, pooling into a collection of awareness that's not flowing in and out, not going towards distractions. This happens as you use the four R's over and over again. As the mind stabilizes, you might eventually recognize the following factors, the first jhana. There's the applied thought, bringing up that happy memory, sustained thought of staying with it, staying with the positive feeling. Then there's the joy, contentment, and a unified mind. And this isn't something to force or create. It's just something to notice if these arise from the right conditions of letting go. One enters jhana by letting go, not by forcing the mind or focusing in this type of jhana, not controlling the mind onto one thing, but rather releasing the tension. And this first jhana is a bit like warming up inside after a cold winter day, kindling the fire. Still some effort to stay with the positive feeling. And then in the second jhana, the thoughts will become too heavy and the mind will stay with the feeling automatically. So now there's just joy, contentment, and a unified mind. And it's kind of running on autopilot. You're just stepping back and observing. Sticking with the fire on a cold day analogy. This is like the fire has already been lit. So you can just sit back on the couch and enjoy. Enjoy that positive feeling. Then if the mind should enter the third jhana, the joy will cool off, leave just contentment and a unified mind. The third jhana, it's like you're on the couch sipping a cup of tea nestled under a blanket on the couch. It's not that you're tired or sleepy, though. You're very aware. It's just that you're comfortable so comfortable in your body and your mind. And then in the fourth jhana, there's just a unified mind, a tranquil collectedness, 
with the feeling in your body beginning to fade. This fourth jhana is like melting into the couch. Your body's comfortably numb. But again, you're not sleepy. It's just that you're so content. You don't need to move. You don't want to move. There's no need to And so you just sit there wanting nothing and sink into that cooled off feeling, that blissful awareness. All right, so feel free to keep meditating. And if possible, you can sit for a full hour without moving. But the longer you sit, the better chance your mind will enter into these deeper states of awareness. But it can take time. And here I've just gone through some of the characteristics so you can recognize it. If this happens to you as you start to meditate more consistently and longer, but certainly it's not expected that you would experience these states. And so as usual, if you're ending the session, you can just check in and see what you learned about your mind. And thanks for taking the time to train your mind. And I'll see you over in the lesson where we'll talk some more about the jhanas, these altered states of consciousness, these levels of understanding about the mind.